like this one. See next. Bridge, what a lovely name. It feels a bit cooler for some reason. I've got my mesh suit on, I'm quite welcoming the breeze. Uh, it's, I find it awful hot, especially when you're stood still. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've never afforded myself the luxury of a mesh suit. I can never justify the cost. a different view of the world now going the other way. Is that, is that any better? I am. I forgot to put my earplugs in, and this helmet's bad for wind. All oh, right. I was hearing it okay on the way, but the wind noise is so. Uh, it's better. Uh, I'll pull over when I get a chance, and you can put the plugs in. No, it's all right. I can hear you now. Got yourself any holidays planned, Michael? No, like I said, this week I had hoped to take the wife and take the bike and go to Sky uh, and maybe do Mull as well and maybe a bit up north. But then she went and uh, they've got this big Filipino thing on Saturday. They uh -huh. have a, what they call Fiesta Sinayon. So all the Filipinos, even folk from down south, or come up for it. So there'll be hundreds of them. So it's an all day event for kids and older folk and you know and they put on a quite a spread food wise. Um, so she's gone and organised that for this Saturday. So obviously you know the organising and the setting up and yeah. So, but I've got more on your leave and 
August, the last week of the school holidays. So I'll organise some and then maybe go book, you know, ferries or something and yep. go. I had planned to go to Norway, uh, <laughs> but I looked really? into it. I, I was still thinking you could get a ferry from Scotland, but that stopped in 2008. Yep. So now you, it. now you have to go to Holland and go up through Denmark and then get another ferry from Denmark and it's just too too expensive really. So this is this is this is weird because that's where I'm planning to go next year. Aye. And do and do exactly what you've uh, just said. I'm gonna get a ferry from Newcastle and then I'm gonna drive up north <coughs> and then get the ferry across to Christiansen. Uh, but you can actually get another ferry. It takes 18 hours from uh, Holland. So instead of driving up through Holland, Germany, and France uh, and uh, Denmark, you can get it. But of course, it's not cheap. And then I'm, I'm going to spend. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't worked out the details of it but I, I really want to go to Norway next year and you're right it will cost a heck of a lot of money uh, but um, so, but that I am so I'm, I'm, I've I found this guy called the Tor, the Tor he's a Norwegian guy and he's on his adventure bikes and he's doing all the roads and I've been chatting to him on the text on the, the chats and uh, he said I was planning to go in June, and he says no, not in June. He says like what? The roads will be open. <laughs> videos? No, I haven't come across that one. Well, he's out in Norway. He does some really good videos. Uh, very professionally done, actually. Yeah. But, uh, he does a bit of wild camping in, that in Norway. They're still alive out there. Oh, yeah, you can camp anywhere uh, you want. So, um, you'll see some stunning roads in that with him. Yeah. He's oh, used uh, I'll ping you. I'll ping you an email with that guy, the Tor, if you right. can just reply with the link to that other fella. But uh, I'll push the stop. Um, yeah, because that's where I, I've wanted to go to Norway for a lot of time, but I've never really felt, never felt um, I was able to do that such a distance. But after doing Switzerland this year. It's about the same distance to get from... I think that's an osprey up above us. It is, it's an osprey. Well... No, it's a heron. It's a heron, isn't uh, it? What difference do you No, there is no, but <laughs> just the shape, the shape of the wing, you know, and the way it was hovering, but no, it's definitely a heron. The money that put you off, the expense to go to Norway? Well, I don't know. I might just... Uh, if you're planning next year, let me know when you're going. Because it's okay. a, be a once-in-a-lifetime, you know. And I haven't really... We didn't really... I haven't done holidays for years. I've become... The wife's gone back to the Philippines once, you know, but that's a real expense, like... Yes. That's yeah. um, thousands of pounds just in the fares. Uh, so, um, but we had planned to go to the likes of Spain the year that the 
pandemic hit, and then of course that all got knocked on the head. Um, and previous holidays, my mother and father used to expect me to go to them. So that's, ah, right. so that's been my holidays, I it's uh, for years and years and years. Well, what I'll do, uh, and I'll, it'll be, uh, it won't be for a couple of months till I start to really plan it, because you can't actually book, I don't think you can book any fares over a year in advance, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, they don't normally announce their fares and that until later in the year. So, um, I have, I have a rough outline of what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'll put uh, I'll put an itinerary together and I'll ping it off to you when I do, and you can uh, let me know what you think. You'll certainly need a couple of grand to do it. That's because uh, that's about how much I spent going to Switzerland, and and uh, the other thing to note. I won't be coming anywhere. <laughs> I'm not uh, any of that. I'm past that and all. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be looking for uh, some kind of accommodation. Yeah, quite right too. When I think about it, I should have put my waterproof pants on because when I get back to Dundee, I expect it to be raining. Well, we're locked out with the weather today. released a video on this but coming the other way. Uh-huh. It's another stunning glen. Yep, it's, I can't, oh, what is it called again? Glen? I can't remember what the name of it is. But it's good. Look at that, that mountainside, or hillside, whatever it is. Beautiful. Glen Devon, that's what this is called. I'm pretty sure of that. Gosh, it's absolutely stunning. And this camera won't be picking it up because it's not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what a shoot. I tell you. This rivals anywhere in the world, really, doesn't it? It certainly does. It certainly does. It's, uh, it's pretty magnificent. The trouble is, you've got to keep your eyes on the blinking road, especially when it's, it's twisted. Uh, I am. And you, you, you get, you're only getting glimpses, probably. And that's why I like to record it. Michael, I like to sit down and 
watch the video back and then I can go, look at what we speed up. Uh -huh. oh, how good is that? The only thing is, these action cameras flatten everything. They do, uh, um, although I think, to be fair, the 360 cultures hill heights and inclines, I think, better than the likes of GoPro. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've noticed that when I like to the small glen, you do, yes. get, you do get the impression that the hills either side are pretty high. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a view for you. That's the main first to Glasgow road that we see ahead of us. Uh-huh. Uh, we're we'll end up in Opterapter. Opterapter. No, Red Cooks. What am I talking about? It's in Good Needles. And again, it's Opterapter. It'll be interesting to see how the, the conversation comes out. Uh-huh. I'll uh, be hit or miss depending on that. It, it was that it might go years to say working with a road. It's yeah. it's funny it's um, this mic I've got it's a little bit hot for it. But then I've got another Sony mic that uh, it's in the wife's helmet for using the road. It's stereo, so it's good because she's in the back seat. It picks up the noise of the bike as well as our voice. Yep, yep. Um, but it's a, it's a, a pure pain when you're swapping for different cameras and different mics, trying to get them.